Do I need a co-star again? Well, this will be the last shot you see of it before I strip it down so I can get it sandblasted and repainted for the first step of restoration. Right, kitty. You want to always get in the picture, don't you? Morale. Well, I've got my basket on it that I mentioned for garbage picking. Had to pick it up from the farm. Just comes off just by giving it a tug. See how strong it is? It's got all my weight on it. <laughs> and it comes off this easy. See? You can put a lot of cases of beer in there. Maybe, maybe even set a washing machine on there if you have to. Take a passenger. You know, it's like a rumble seat. <laughs> Well, when I was a kid, I had to make money somehow, and garbage picking seemed to be the right way. It worked for me. So, it's off to the shop now. Complete disassembly. And I'll show that process along the way. Things are not looking good. Well, they could be in a while, but... <laughs> Poor thing. No motor, no seats, wires hanging everywhere. Got to strip her down, get her sandblasted, and cut out that floor and replace it. Disgusting. A random 450, anyone? Sorry, not for sale. Well, there's how it's mounted. I did end up using a piece of the frame off the original motorcycle. So it's nothing spectacular, just some angle irons it's sitting on. Hey, slow down! Well, it's a start. Now i got to yank all the wires out and stuff like that and take the wheels off and it's pretty much ready to go. Now what I really need is a pair of average size like ATV rear tires. I never liked putting these mini Austin tires on. They were too big, too skinny for traction. It screwed up my gear ratio. I had this thing all geared to, when it's doing 110 miles an hour by the chain and sprocket ratio to, you know, red line at 10,000 RPM or, or thereabouts. Oh kitty! Yeah, and I'd like to put quad tires on it now. Quads didn't exist back then, so I didn't have a choice. It originally started off with wheels like that in the back, but it ate those up so fast that <laughs> I had to do something. 